We live. Hey everybody, what's up? This is the Hobart Headlines for Monday, July 13th, 2020. Uh, let's see everybody's comments here. Really quick. And uh, what we're talking about today is... Um, so, oh, there's a little bit of um, breaking news. The Washington Redskins have just released this press release. Uh, so I'll just read that real fast as everybody gets in here. So yeah, let me know where you're checking in from. Um, let me know uh, what part of PA or what part of the world or what part of the country you're checking in from. But like I said, it's a little bit of breaking news for today. Um, they said on July 3rd, we announced the commencement of a thorough review of the team's name. There, that review has begun in, in earnest as part of this process. We want to keep our sponsors, fam, and community apprised of our things, thinking as we go forward. Today we're announcing we'll be retiring. The Redskins name and logo upon completion of this review, the Snyder and Coach Rivera working closely to develop a new name and design approach that will enhance the standing of our proud tradition, blah, 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 next 100 years. So basically the Redskins are changing their name, but the funny thing, that, so yeah, so in the comments, um, if you think of a new name that they should get, the best comment will win a free sticker. Um, and I, I'm obviously saying that's probably going to be something that's funny. So you can say whatever you want, just don't be ridiculous, but pretty much whatever you want. But best comment, I'll send you a sticker. Um, but one of the problems that I've seen in Bleacher Report, let uh, zoom in here. Uh, somebody bought, um, somebody bought, here, I'm going to click on this tweet here. Here it is. Yeah, where is this? So somebody bought um, all the, here it is. So somebody in Washington bought the copyrights for all of these names. So they can't use any of these names and they just got bought, I guess, just recently. So I'm, I'm pretty surprised. Uh, I'm pretty surprised that that somebody did this, but they bought the Red Wolves, the Tribe, the Red Tail, the Monuments, the Veterans, the Renegades, the Braves, the Red Tails, the Freedom Fighters, Warhogs, the Radskins, just so ridiculous, the Red Tailed Hawks, and the Potomacs. So, and I guess there's more, I don't know, so they can't change those names, I'm assuming. But yeah, that's on Bleacher Report if you want to check that out. It says, why don't the Redskins have a new nickname plan yet? Probably because some realtor in Alexandria beat them to the punch and trademark every single new Redskin name. So that, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, so like I said, if you can come up with the best uh, new name for the Redskins and it's funny, I'll send you a free sticker. So uh, yeah, so right now they just announced that they are changing their name, but they don't know what to who, so it's just a more debacle. So this is somebody right here said Red Wolves would be sweet because it's an endangered animal indigenous to the area and connected to Native American culture, blah, blah, blah. But it's just, it's, uh, that one is, I think, copyrighted. So, yeah, like I said, let's see. the wa I saw the Washington Foreskins. Yeah, I saw that. The Washington Maroons, all right. Yeah, I, Lori, it's crazy. So people that say that it's like their team or whatever. Um, I have a friend named Jeff, and he's a huge Redskin fan. So it's just like, I'm a Chicago Blackhawk fan. So if they change their name, I would, I, I don't know how I would feel about it. Because it, you just identify with that the entire time. And that's like the thing you live and die with. But the Blackhawks aren't changing their name. Um, apparently Blackhawk is a term of endearment. So we're good. So I still got that. <laughs> the Washington Trumps, that's pretty good. So right now, Washington Foreskins are in the front. David Miller trying to get that, trying to get that. There's Jeff Sluck, my man. We want your opinion about it. He's a lifelong Redskins fan. But I also have, uh, I have uh, the only time they ever hosted a Thanksgiving game. I have a flag from that. So that might, might be worth something. The Washington Hobots, bud. <laughs> but yeah, if you can think of a new name for the... Uh, uh, the Redskins, but it looks like somebody bought all of the all the names. These are all the names now that are copyrighted, so that they they can't. Um, uh, I guess that somebody in uh, Alexandria purchased all these names, so they have the trademark to them, which is weird. So maybe that's why they're having a tough time changing the name. 
But yeah, like I said, if you can think of a funny name or a good name that they should change your name to, I'll send you a free sticker. But um, also other things going on. Uh, Papa John's hits record as chain moves. So uh, that guy that was sweating as Papa John's former guy, he probably can't be happy. Uh, more of a serious thing, there was just a drive-by shooting in Crescentville. Um, it, so that's on CBS Philly if you want to check that out. And it's something a little bit more lighthearted. Philly cheesesteak flavored potato chips are coming to Lay's, but So get ready for that. They'll probably be gross. But like I said, if you could think of a funny, a funny name for the Washington Redskins for them to change, like I said, I'll send you a free sticker. Um, I just wanted to go over a little bit of what was going on. Uh, like I said, the Redskins have just announced that they are changing their name and logo, but they don't know what they're changing it to. So just more, more confusion. <laughs> That's uh, that is now the U.S. of A. But, yeah, everybody, like I said, leave your comments. Uh, I'll go through the Washington Idiots. I'll go through and um, pick the best comment, and I'll uh, send you a sticker. But uh, you guys have a good uh, day.